Let's take a look at the clips that we use to fasten the composite decking down. There's three types, I'm gonna explain each one individually. The first ones are these. These are start and finish clips. Not surprisingly, they're used for the first board and the last board of any run of decking. They come with screws. The screws are black, but actually they're stainless steel coated black, so they're a very, very high quality screw. Use one of these on every joist and your joist will be spaced at 400 millimeter centers. They're available in bags of 50 and they come with the screws as well. So now we've installed our start clips and brought the first board back onto those clips, it's time to look at the next type of clip that we're gonna use and that is these decking T-clips. These are what hold each board down. They go on top of every joist and the screw is already installed in the clip doesn't sound like a major detail, but when you've got a few thousand of these to install, that saves quite a bit of time. So we've installed our decking T-clips now, apart from the one in the middle. In the middle of every decking board, there has to be one of these. This is a locking clip. So this has teeth on it where the other ones don't. The purpose of that is to hold the board still, to stop it sliding around, but also to control the direction of any expansion and contraction as the seasons roll by. So I've put this second board on now, but there's a couple of notable points and one little tip or trick. When you put the first row of clips in, don't tighten them up fully. If you leave them loose, as I did, that allows you to bring the second board home in a quick, efficient fashion. Once you've put the next row of clips in, including the locking clip, at that point, you can tighten the first row of clips down. The other good thing about these clips is that they present you the required five millimeter gap between each board. If you just butt everything up as tight as you can, the gap is left for you, courtesy of those T-clips. So what we've got here is a situation where one board is covering our entire deck. In the real world, that's not often the case. And often you have to have two boards that are butt jointed. So there's a couple of considerations that you need to make. You have to double this joist here where the deck boards meet. In addition to that, you have to leave a small gap, maybe 20 millimeters or so. That allows the top water to drain off each board and fall away, hit the ground and disappear. So if you want all of the tips and tricks, go and have a look at the installation guide that's available on the website. And coming in 2023, there's going to be an advanced decking calculator launched. But if you can't wait till then, why not speak to the estimating team here at Ecoscape? They'll be able to help you choose, design, and quantify everything that you need for your decking project.